Okay guys, I just bought a domain from Google Domains. Now I'm gonna add this over to Cloudflare. And then in a subsequent video, we're gonna connect this domain over to ClickFunnels to be able to associate this brand new domain with a funnel that was set up over in ClickFunnels. So first of all, I'm gonna to navigate to the DNS section here in Google Domains. And if you've never used Google Domains before for purchasing domains, I highly suggest using this over something like GoDaddy. Um, this is a far better option than GoDaddy. Um, so in the DNS section uh, for this domain, uh, you're going to add in Cloudflare's name server records. So I'm gonna hop on over to Cloudflare really quickly and set this up. And if you're not really familiar with Cloudflare, Cloudflare is a backbone of the internet. It's a well-regarded organization. Um, you wanna use it for speeding up your sites. Uh, your sites are gonna be cached at servers closer to where your end, your end users are gonna be. Basically what that means is uh, instead of the people, so when someone goes to access your site, instead of them having to um, try to access that information via long distance going back to wherever it was uh, stored, or maybe it's stored somewhere in between, uh, you're gonna have that information stored far closer to where they're located, which really results in a, a faster load speed for their site when they pull that up because Cloudflare is going to store a copy, a local copy of your site um, in various servers across the globe, making it much closer to where your your users are going to be. So let's let's hop on over to Cloudflare really quickly. I have all my domains over there at Cloudflare. Um, so what I'm going to do now is first step, I've got to add a site into Cloudflare. So basically adding a site is essentially just kind of like creating where you're managing your domain over in Cloudflare. So let's go ahead and click on add a site. What you see down listed here below, these are all domains that are added in here. There's gonna be like a little active status if it's actively added in or pending if it's just added in. So right now I, uh, I have all these in here as active, but I'm gonna go ahead and add in a brand new site. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in the domain here. So enter your site into this field here. So it's uh, I'm going to add that in here. Go ahead and click on add site. And then on the next screen here, I'm going to click on the free plan. Uh, I don't need the pro business or enterprise. And let's click on confirm plan. And Cloudflare is just gonna scan for whatever DNS records are back over in Google Domains. In this case, there's only one uh, a C name record that was set up. I'm gonna go ahead and click on continue. There's nothing that I need to change. I could add in records if I want to, but right now, I'm just gonna go ahead and click on continue. And now here is the section of uh, Cloudflare where you're setting up a site where you need to put your name server records back over in your DNS manager where the domain was. So. I'm gonna put it back over in Google Domains. Basically what we're doing here is, my domain is registered through Google Domains, but I'm gonna be managing the domain uh, DNS records all through Cloudflare. So that's what we're doing here. We're just moving it over to Cloudflare's name servers. So back over here, uh, it gives me the steps of logging into my registrar account and then going and replacing the Cloudflare name server. So all I have to do is just click where it says click to copy. It's gonna copy that automatically for me. So click to copy, go back to Google Domains, navigate to this name server section, click on use custom name servers, and then just paste that in here and then hit this little uh, plus sign. That way we can add in another field and we can go back over here and get Marty. So this is marty.ns.cloudflare.com. Copy that, go back over here, paste that right in here, hit save. And let's go ahead and select change name servers anyway. Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and click on done check name servers back over here in Cloudflare. Now this might take a few minutes before everything's all up and running over on Cloudflare side. Uh, so I might pause the video and come back to this. But before I pause, really quickly, I'm gonna go through these next steps here through the quick start guide. I'm gonna go ahead and click on get started. I'm gonna turn on automatic HTTPS free rights. I want that on, I'm gonna go ahead and hit save. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on for always use HTTPS. I always recommend that you wanna always use HTTPS for your websites, 
Now Cloudflare is going to automatically add in a free SSL certificate for your site now that you're hosting this through Cloudflare. If you uh, had registered your domain originally through GoDaddy, GoDaddy charges, I think like eight bucks or something like that for the first year. And then after that, it's like 60 or $70 for an SSL certificate. They really rip you off. Um, with Cloudflare, you're gonna get a free SSL certificate. Uh, since we're gonna be actually using this site, uh, sorry, this domain with ClickFunnels though, ClickFunnels would give you a free SSL certificate as well. Uh, but anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and click on always use HTTPS, click on save. And yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and turn these on for auto minify. This is gonna reduce the file size of the source code on my site. Basically what's gonna be cached, uh, it's gonna be kind of mini minimized essentially, or they call it minify. Uh, so that way it's gonna have a, a faster load speed. So let's go ahead and click on, turn these all on. I click too fast. Got to wait for it to finalize. You can see it's it's thinking. Okay, click on save. Keep this turned on. This is just going to speed up page load times. Let's go ahead and hit save there. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit finish. Okay, and then I can go ahead and cancel out of those because I'm not going to pay for this. All right, and then now I can click on recheck now on this page, but I'm pretty certain that it's still gonna take me a few more minutes for this to all be good. But I'll go ahead and click on the, the recheck now. Recheck now. So there you go, it says it's now queued up to be rechecked. I'll come back in a few minutes. I'm gonna pause the video for now, come back. Okay, so there we go. So now our domain has been uh, set up. The, the name server records have now been moved from Google Domains over to Cloudflare. So let's go ahead and finish getting this all set up. So really quickly, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into the DNS section here. I'm gonna click on DNS sec, enable DNS sec. And there's a record I gotta set up back over in Google Domains. And basically what this is, this is something that's overlooked by folks, but this is gonna prevent, um, as, it, as you see back here, it's gonna protect uh, your your domain, and this is something, this is not just a Cloudflare thing, this is also for wherever else your domain may be set up, but you'll wanna basically set this up so that way you can prevent uh, someone from trying to forge your, your DNS records and so forth. Um, so basically, this is just gonna secure your domain. So let's go ahead, let's click back into DS record here real quick, and let's set this up. Let's go back into DNS, and then under, DNS sec right there. So under key tag, that's gonna be 2371. So you can click into where it says click to copy. And this is gonna be number 13 right there. So 13 SHA 256, if you go back over here, uh, right there. So digest type two is SHA 256. You can't copy it and drop it in because this is a drop down. And this is gonna be SHA-13, I believe, or actually, uh, this is gonna be number, which one is this? This one's gonna be digest type two. So this is gonna be SHA-256 there. And then for your digest key, this is gonna be right there. So click to copy, and then paste that in there, and then hit add. And then um, within 24 hours, you should see, let's refresh this. Within 24 hours, you should see that this is uh, all activated under the DNS sec section. So right now it just says it's pending, but it should be done in about 24 hours, probably less than that. If it's not, you might not have set this up properly back over in DNS sec back in Google domains. It's gonna be set up a little bit differently back in GoDaddy or Namecheap or wherever else you might have set up your domain. Okay, so we've got this all set up now over in Cloudflare. Now we're gonna connect Cloud, uh, Cloudflare and ClickFunnels. So let's go over to ClickFunnels real quick. In ClickFunnels, you're gonna go up here in the upper right-hand corner where your account settings is. Go into account settings and scroll down on the left and go to domains and click on add new domain and then click on add your own domain you're not going to select register a new domain that would be if you were to buy a domain through click funnels and i don't recommend that um, i always like buying a domain through a registrar such as like google domains or namecheap 
and not through a hosting company like ClickFunnels or Wix or Squarespace. So let's go ahead and click on use an existing domain and we're going to put in here we don't want that www dot in there we want to just put in the domain itself so it was this and check this where it says this domain is registered on Cloudflare actually it's not registered on Cloudflare let's go ahead and click on add domain and then uh, ClickFunnels is going to tell you in order for your custom domain to work you'll need to log into where you bought the domain and add in a C name record that points to and then it gives you this so you're going to set this up um, I'm going to put in here let's copy that let's copy that and then let's go back over to our DNS settings. Let's add in a record here. Select the CNAME option. Let's put in the at symbol. Put in our target. Click on save. And then click on I've done this step. Okay, and we're going to associate this uh, domain with a funnel. So click on this drop down here and it's going to show you everything that you've got going on in your account. There's a bunch of funnels in this domain in this uh, account. So we're going to find, let's see here. I wish this was alphabetical or better yet, auto suggest search where you could just type and search, but. Uh, it's all the way at the end. Go ahead and click on associate funnel. Let's scroll down here. Let's click into our domain there. Click on default page, go to expand and you want it to be uh, your first page in your your funnel. So in this case, it's the the first page is the squeeze page. So that's fine. Go ahead and hit save. We want a 404 error page just in case someone types in the domain incorrectly. Like if they put in like uh, the domain and then forward slash and then like book offer two or something like that, and that's not a valid page. We want them to go to the the first page in case they air out. Let's click on expand for SSL. Disregard domain forwarding and disregard edit zone records. Click on expand, click on add SSL. Okay. Let's go click back here on the domains real quick. And it's in the process of securing this. Usually I have to come back in here and click through that again under the SSL section. Click on check now. It says that they're still working on it. Let's click on expand there. So there we go. So now we got the SSL certificate enabled for this domain. So we're good. If we go back here to domains real quick, we will see that there is now a green padlock indicating that this is secured. I'm going to go ahead and I want to go to this domain and pull up this site, this funnel here. There we go. So our domain is now going to our squeeze page that we've got set up for this funnel. So that's as simple as it is in terms of setting up a domain uh, in Cloudflare for ClickFunnels. Okay, so now that you've got your domain set up with your ClickFunnels funnel, just one other thing I need you to set up as well. Um, you need to account for the www subdomain basically what I mean here is if you give your URL to someone uh, and they put in www they're gonna get an error page if you don't have a, a, a forwarding record set up in your DNS and this is true for all websites on all website hosts you've got to set up some sort of a rule for the www subdomain technically the www subdomain is not necessary but everyone for the past uh, 30 or so years has become accustomed to thinking that it's necessary so let's go set that up real quick let's go back to our dns uh we can see right now that dns sec is now finally all set up that's all good let's add in a c name record in here let's click into add record 
under type, let's put in C name. Let's put in the www subdomain and then for target, we're gonna put the at symbol and then go ahead and hit save. Keep this set to proxied. Um, now for every other DNS reg registrar out there, it's gonna be a little different. It might not be set up this way for a C name record for the www subdomain. Could be something else. You probably have to reach out to whoever you're using if you're not using Cloudflare to set this up. But we're setting this up in Cloudflare, so I wanna show you how I would set this up and how this is gonna work for ClickFunnels. Okay, now we gotta go over to page rules and set up our forwarding rule. This wasn't actually our forwarding rule, this is just a CNAME record. Well, let's go over to page rules. We're gonna click on create page rule here real quick and we're gonna type in here into this field where it says if the URL matches. So basically it's, this is a little bit of logic. If whatever someone's gonna be putting in their address bar, if the URL that they type in matches www dot and then your domain and then forward slash asterisk asterisk just means it's like a wild card so like if they put in anything into uh that domain as a sub page like apply or get off or thank you or whatever it happens to be you want to make sure that they're always going to be redirected back to your site and not get a 404 if they've put in that www so under then the settings are let's click pick a setting this is going to be forwarding and for select status code, we're gonna change this to 301 permanent redirect and then enter destination URL. This is where we want them to end up. So when I set up this funnel, uh, I'd set up the domain to be just the, the naked domain of gcodebook.com. Click funnels ads in this page because that's the first page of the funnel itself. But uh, what we wanna put in here is no subdomains. So we're gonna put in HTTPS forward slash forward slash and then uh, gcodebook.com forward slash and then dollar sign one. Now I'm not gonna explain what the dollar sign one means. You can click through here where it says learn more to learn uh, why you'd put dollar sign one or dollar sign two or something else uh, for these variables. Um, but essentially what we're trying to say is we just want someone that's redirected going here to www and then whatever page on your domain. We want them to go to gcodebook.com. Let's go ahead and click on save and deploy. And that's turned on now. Now within about 24 hours, you should expect to find that if you were to go test this in uh, another browser um, or on another device, that if you go to www.gcodebook.com, this should now load the page. And, you also notice that your browser will drop the www. That's fine, that's expected. We're, we're forwarding uh, the www version of your site over to the non-www version of your site, which is fine. As long as it pulls up that funnel, you're good to go. All right, guys, it won't happen as fast as it did for me right there. It's just because I'd already set it up and I wanted to cache it on my side. Um, for you, again, it might take up to an hour, maybe 24 hours, but you should be good to go. Got any questions, let us know. Thanks. All right, well, I hope that video was helpful. If you have any questions, let us know.